Hey there Islanders and welcome to our second editor tutorial. Today we're looking at building. It's very similar to building in general in islands, be it from sandbox or exploration. But here we'll look at the differences and some cool tips and tricks. So first things first, to add an entity you have to go to add entity. Hmm. Here you can see all the items and their categories, but we're specifically looking for a stone block. So let's write that in. Now, when you hold your mouse above the objects, it shows you their shape and size. For starters, we'll choose uh, this stone block. And as you see, it slides around in the grid with handy squares to distinguish its position Plus, I can rotate the object according to the button shown in the tooltips below. And then, when I hold down the left mouse button, I can drag the block to make a line. Now, if I'm done with the stone block, I can press the right mouse button to cancel placing it, and I can operate with the object I have currently selected. If I just want to move it around as a whole, I can by holding the left mouse button, but I can also move it using its axis by switching it at the top left corner. Uh, you can also rotate it in the same fashion. Uh, you can also switch between these by pressing the spacebar, which is much quicker. Now, if you'd like to move your objects more finely outside the grid, you can do so by pressing down V, and with that you'll see this panel unlocked. This way, the objects don't move according to the grid, but according to our desire. I can, of course, turn it back into grid mode, and now again it moves according to the grid. The same with rotating. Now, I can rotate freely, not by 90 degrees, but if I wanted to do so, I can press here again and turn it by 90 degrees. There we are. Another two buttons we have here are for snapping to terrain here, or snapping objects to building blocks here. Now, if we wanted to make another layer of our wall, but didn't want to keep dragging the block from one end to another, we can use this trick. We use the spacebar to set it to move, and then we press Ctrl D to duplicate the whole line. But, the duplicated line stays on the original line, so we use the axis to move it to where we want it. Now, I'll move them a bit to the right, so we have a natural cross-building style going. And then I'll make another layer by pressing Ctrl D and moving that up again. If you don't want to do it one line at a time, you can choose all of them and repeat the process. Easy as that. There we are, lovely, a whole wall. So using this, I'll make a nice high wall and let's have a look at it. Looks a bit plain, would be nice to add something to it. So I'll choose this line and using the button delete, I'll erase it. And in this line, I use a different block. There we are. So let's choose one, let's say this one. I'll rotate it how I need it and then just pull it across, there. Now nah, it's not as plain and a bit nice in my opinion. But let's do one more line just to break it up a bit. So I delete the line we have here now. And then by using the double click I choose all the entities we have here. And using Ctrl D I duplicate it and shift it up to our desired position. Or I can also use this dropper choose the block we want to put in our space, and that will give me the required material, which I can then place as I like. This way we can continue in further building using Ctrl D, and it will fit in just nicely. There you go. Lovely. And we'll see each other again in the next episode, where we'll talk about object properties in the new building we've built. And until then, stay classy, Islanders.